talk about one of the breeds I really don't ever recommend you keeping as a pet. Ever, ever, ever. Not Shepherds. This is a client of ours dog. She's boarding with us. Her behavior right now pretty much represents a lot of the issues that you're going to see with your typical Dutch Shepherd that most of you are going to be able to obtain on what I call the pet market. People are always like, what's your issue with, with Dutch Shepherds? I don't have an issue with Dutch Shepherds. They are what they are. You've got basically two options. You end up with a really good one or you end up with a really bad one. I've seen very few that are what I would call in between. Very common in the breed that when they become stressed by anything or insecure about anything or excited about anything, they come up the leash. As breeds go, this breed is probably the highest incident of handler aggression. I've seen them as young as like 10 months hospitalizing owners. This is not a dog or someone that doesn't know what they're doing. Now, if they're really good, they're still not good pets. So this is a working dog. They're bred to be dominant, they're bred to have big grips, big prey, a lot of aggression, so on and so forth. Does that sound like a dog that you probably should be living with? Hell no. Super active, high energy, and they're not user friendly at all. These are not pets. The majority of people breeding them in North America, if you want to get a working dog and you don't want to deal with a very Difficult dog, get a German Shepherd. They're the best introduction to working dog that you can get and get away with keeping that thing as a pet. In many cases, it's quite a doable thing. We train Dutchies here all the time. This is where this is coming from. And they're not good guys. They're not good dogs, especially for family situations. So I hope I've been clear on this. If you're not willing to go to the hospital because you got yourself something that's maybe a little bit more than you were ready for, or maybe you just he just caught you slipping one day, right? You don't want to deal with that kind of smoke, so to speak. Don't get yourself a Dutchie. Guys, obviously there's a touch of hyperbole involved in that video. It's because I really want to get the message across. The other thing is, of course, when we speak about a breed, we're speaking in broad generalities. Have I ever met a balanced Dutchie? Of course I have. Have we ever trained them here? Of course we have. We have no problem training Dutchies. In fact, we're quite good at it because we really understand them. We understand all their behaviors, but they do tend to be much more challenging dogs on average to own. And they're top three on my list of breeds that I really do not recommend to the average family, you know, or, or person that's maybe not so used to or experienced with dogs because like I said in the video, not user friendly.